Hello everyone, welcome to the same tutorial. In this tutorial, we will learn how we can test the performance of your FTP request. So let's begin. First, let's understand what is FTP and then we will see how we can test the performance of FTP request using JMeter. So what is FTP? FTP is a file transfer protocol used to transfer our files between one computer to another computer over the internet. Okay, so if you want to transfer one file from one system to another system over the internet, so you will be using a FTP protocol. Okay, and the architecture used by FTP is a client server. So what this means, this means that your one machine or computer will act as a client and other will act as a server. Okay, now FTP uses two kinds of ports. One is 21 for controlling and 24 data transfer. Okay. So let's understand what kind of operations you can perform between the two computers, okay? So basically your one machine will act as a client and other will act as a server. So now you can perform two actions here, either sending a file from client to the server or from server to the client. So if you are transferring a file from client to server, so basically you are uploading a file, okay? Now, if you're transferring a file from server to the client, this means you're downloading a file. So you can perform two operations, uploading and downloading. So now in order to transfer the files from the client to the server, you need to connect to the server. So how you can connect to the server? You need three things for that. You need a host name or the IP of that server. You need a username and password. And the third thing is the port. So you need these three things to connect to the server. Okay. Now, how you can connect from the local machine okay for that i am using a filezilla so this is a filezilla which you can use to transfer a file from your local machine to the server okay so on the left side basically this is my local machine and it has all the files which are present in my local and this is a server okay so it has all the files present there now in order to connect to the server what you need you need a host name Okay, which we discussed already, username, password, and the port. And then you need to click on click connect. Okay. Now, from where you can download the FileZilla, for that, you need to go to the website, which is known as filezilla-project.org. So from this particular website, you need to download a FileZilla client. And you need to install that one on your system. So after installing the system, you will get this FileZilla. And you can provide your host username and password and port to connect to the server okay so this is my local system and this is my remote and this is my local hierarchy where i'm standing right now and this is a server hierarchy okay now for example if i need to upload a file okay i just need to click a file from here click on upload so it will upload here slash htdocs and you can see this file has been uploaded here Okay, so similarly, if I want to download a file from here, I need to click a download, it will download to my local system. Okay, this file already exists on my system. That's why it's saying that target file already exists. Just click on this one, it will transfer the file. So file is being transferred back to my system. So we need to perform the same actions using the JMeter. Okay. Now let's open the JMeter and see how we can create a FTP request and then how we can put a load on that one. Okay. Open the JMeter here and on the test panel level, right click on this one, go to add, go to thread group, add the thread group here. And from thread group, right click on this one, go to add, go to sampler. And here you will find a FTP request. Click on this one. Here we have a multiple options like name, comments, server or IP, port, remote file, local file, okay? And then we have these options like get, put, binary, save file and response. And then we have a login configuration, okay? We just learned that we need to provide a server name or IP, port name, port number, username and password in order to connect the server. Now let's provide a server name here. So my server name is basically FTP upload.net. Okay, I'm copying from here. Go to the JMeter. Okay, so we're not here. We need to provide here. Then we need to provide a port. Okay, and we need to provide a username and password. Okay, this is my username. Okay, let me copy from here. Paste it here. 
and then I need to provide my password. Okay, let me copy from here. Okay, it's not allowing me to copy from here. Let me copy from my document file. So this is my password from here. I'm copying from this one and let's provide the password here. So in order to retrieve a file, this means you're downloading a file. You need to select this get. Okay, we need to select that get. Now we need to, after making connection, we need to tell the JMeter that from which location you need to copy a file and which file you need to copy. And after that, we need to tell the JMeter that where this file need to be placed on my local machine. Okay. So if I go to the filezilla here, so this is a file location here. Okay. Let me come from here. Okay. So basically it's slash htdocs then slash upload dot txt. Okay. So I'm going to the JMeter here. And providing a remote file here slash okay then the name of the file complete file name so this is a file upload.txt let me copy the name from here and I need to go back to the JMeter here and provide the full name okay and now where I need to place this file on my local machine okay so already it, it is placed on my local machine here on the desktop just let me remove this file from here okay and now I need to place this file here on the desktop okay so let me provide the details here so this is a path till my desktop I need to copy and I need to provide here and also what I need to do is that I need to tell the JMeter that what will be the name of this file so I need to copy this name from here and paste it here okay now our request is ready to execute before that we need to go to add go to the listener add view results tree okay so right now what we are doing is that we are downloading the file from the server so i'm changing the name to downloading file okay now just let's run this request and see what happens so let me save this one okay and let's run this one and you can see that the request has been successfully done okay and you can see that the response code is 200 this was a request okay this was our FTP server path or the file path and that was the path and the file we need on our local machine okay so if I go to the response data, you don't receive any kind of data because we are just copying a file from server to my local machine. So that's why you don't have any kind of information available regarding this one. So now let's go to my desktop and see either we can have this file or not. And you can see that now we have this file here. Okay, so this is a file. So that's how you can retrieve a file from the server. Now see how we can upload a file to the server from our local machine to the server. Okay, for that open to the JMeter and here all things will remain same almost. Okay, we just need to select put here. So put means that we are uploading a file to the server. Okay, so again we need to tell what will be the name and what will be the path on the server and what is our local path here. Okay, so let me go to my local here and let me rename this file here okay so change name it to upload to server okay now we have this file here and it has some text as well okay now let me copy the path from here and this is a path and this is a file name okay let me copy this one from here and go to the jmeter so basically it's upload to server dot txt so this is a file we need to upload to my hdoc slash okay so i need to copy this here and i need to paste it here okay and if i go here you can see that we don't have such file in the hdocs okay now let's run this and see either the file is getting uploaded or not so before in, before doing that I'm changing the name here is to upload upload 
file okay and let's run this and see what happens so the request got executed okay and we can see that the response code is 200 request is from this to this and now you can see the arrow is pointing towards the backward okay if i go here arrow is pointing this way okay so from this to this and here from this to this okay now let's go to my files here and let me refresh this here and see what happens okay so now you can see that i have the similar file on the server in my htdocs okay let me open this file or let me download this file okay so now you can see that the file size is same and this file already exists click on this one okay it will override the file so that's how you can configure for uploading and downloading the file in terms of the ftp okay now you need to perform a load testing on this one okay for that obviously you need to go to the thread group you need to increase a load as per your requirement now if i'm increasing the load here it will not create the 10 files on the server okay let me show you and i will tell you why this is happening as well okay let me run this one okay and here you will see that one two three four five six seven eight nine ten so 10 times this file has been transferred from my local to the server but if i go here and refresh here okay so you will see that there's only one file now why this is happening so this is happening because the same file exists so what happens is that if you are trying to hit 10 times from the jmeter okay you might get the performance in terms of hitting the 10 times okay but the file would remain same and here on the server the latest file will be uploaded okay so how you make this data driven for that what you need to do is that you need to provide a dynamic file every time okay you need to either you can provide from the csv or from the excel file which we will learn in our upcoming sessions how we can make our request data driven but you can see that if i'm hitting 10 times there are no files creating for the 10 times okay but that's how you can do the performance testing of the ftp request using the jmeter thank you so much for watching this tutorial we hope that you have learned something today if you like our content then do subscribe our channel like share and comment and once again thank you so much for watching this tutorial and see you in the next lecture